welcome back to the Take a Sip podcast. My name is Tito. And I'm Leche. And as always, Leche, what are you sipping on this morning? Yeah, since this is a rare occasion that it's a Thursday morning that we're doing this for sure. Friday morning. Drinking coffee. Drinking a nice coffee. <laughs> it's Friday, bro. You're it's right. Friday. You're right. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm lost in my days, bro. Yep. You can tell, bro. It's been a long week, bro. Drink it that coffee. Been... You need to wake up. <laughs> it's been a long week. Um, mm. So what? Well, Lich is drinking some Starbucks you... coffee. I'm drinking on some homemade coffee. I mean, nothing beats that, dude. Honestly. No. No, some nice yeah, homemade you pick me up. That's why I'm drinking black coffee, dude. I know. Pick me up. <laughs> As much uh, as I want to try black coffee, like I have tried it, you get me, but because dairy sometimes does not work with me depending on my mornings or the days. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I, I can't just I can't just sip on black coffee like some people do. When you eat you eat frijoles, it might as well be the same thing. Oh my god, <laughs> it is not the same thing. Get out. Oh, Get out. It's just <laughs> If you could if literally bean juice, <laughs> it's the same. You're so stupid. Yeah, out. We're wrong though. <laughs> I'd add that in there. Yeah. Sure. So, <laughs> we have some interesting stories. We got one big ass, massive ass game industry shattering news for sure yes, today. Yes, we got a lot. Same. Yes. <laughs> so we'll actually start with the more simpler news. Um. Because it is very known at this point that Fortnite is getting very popular with its crossovers and its skins. Um, So very recently, they put out that Marvel's Hawkeye duo, uh, Hawkeye and Bishop, are coming to Fortnite as skins, which actually works very well since there are now bows and arrows in the game as well. Very convenient. Very convenient. <laughs> and especially yeah, and especially too with like the whole um like time rift story that they're going with. Um, so it's like, yeah, it makes sense, like all these alternate universes and shit. Like so people from alternate universes are coming through and shit. So. Exactly. You could now have Bishop right next to Sasuke. Who would have thought? <laughs> While flossing. The audacity, bro. <laughs> Literally, what is this? What era are we living in? <laughs> That's exactly. even possible. <laughs> All they're missing is Green Arrow. Oh my God. I know. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking true. <laughs> oh, and shit, who, who was his who was his young man? Uh I know there was Red Arrow and was it the girl like Artemis or something? Oh, Speedy. Oh, Speedy, right, right, right. Yeah, but speedy. then the girl, the even girl though it's not, they're not little, fast. The girl one? Oh, I don't know. I think she was the Artemis. Girl. If I'm going like Young Justice storyline. Oh, pro- I think it might be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's just a quick one. If you're a Fortnite player out there or like keeping up with the types of skins and DLCs that they're doing, you're balling. <laughs> skins. And for real. Um, but keeping with the Marvel theme, uh, Leche is actually super excited about this one. Bro, just uh, any Marvel news is just insane to me. It especially, just blows my mind. Especially <laughs> right now with everything that's Being kind of quiet. Yeah, like, exactly. Waiting for the anticipation stuff. You know, like, exactly. Because right now, so. the more recent thing that we had besides um, the Spider Man movie and the whole. Uh, Hawkeye series right now. There hasn't really been anything much in the excuse me in the Marvel universe besides yeah. this new trailer that we just got for well, Moon Knight. I mean, yep, yep, yep. Which I'll let you take it away here. So I mean, the, Moon Knight is a little bit less of a known superhero for sure because he's more of like an anti-hero type of thing. Mm-hmm. Um just like uh how do I explain what kind of character he is? He's not like Deadpool because he's not like a funny character like that. Mm-hmm. He likes to take himself like very seriously. But Moon Knight is supposed to be a a guy like an archaeologist and whatever that goes to a trip and he gets like kind of like possessed by one of those ancient fucking Egypt the uh, ghosts pretty much that gives him the superpowers. So he's like a supernatural superhero as well. Mm-hmm. But on un- 
which this is what I like because this is diving into like the um, like kind of a serious topic because the actual main character, even in a comic books, um, he has uh that was like a multi the multiple personality disorder. Mm-hmm. Um so that dives in a lot into it to where he, up to the point where he loses track of like his sense of time because he's like, I don't know which part of me was here and there and that. So that it dives into that a lot. And, also and we actually into, see the trans yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. It also dives into like the whole um what is it like insomniac type of stuff? Yes, like yes, not be, like not being able to sleep during the night and then like random waves of sleep throughout the day mm-hmm. and doing that, waking up and falling asleep so often and all that stuff really just messes with your whole sense of time. Like Lich has said, it's not just a whole multiple multiple personality thing, but uh but the sense of time from the insomnia that that someone deals with. Yeah. And I think it's a great actor fucking point portraying this. Uh, mm-hmm. What is it called? Oscar, Oscar Isaac. Oh yeah. I mean, fucking Academy award winning fucking actor playing the superhero. I mean, dude, Marvel just could buy anyone at this point into their system. They, really <laughs> they got the dough for it for sure. So just getting I mean, like a, a really good script and being like, here it is. Read it over. You kind of don't even have to how much you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, that's how it is. Like, it was like you don't even have to like the role. It's like, here, we'll buy you out. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Dude, but I just love the transformation, dude, up to the like, point where uh, the main character l- kind of loses himself. Yes. And then he transforms into Moon Knight. I'm like, yes. oh, shit. The shift is just insane, dude. I'm just yes. looking forward to it because this is going to be a series definitely watch the trailer the trailer is such a trip within itself as oh, it's yeah, explaining dude. what's happening in a way mm-hmm. um that and that's what i like about it like it doesn't give the problem with trailers is always that they give so much away of what's going to be in the film yep. whereas in this one was just a perfect Medium. A, per- a perfect medium of mm-hmm. telling you the storyline, telling you what is happening, but not really, really spoiling ex- who the enemy is, the why and the how. The why and, and the, the how. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like you just explaining all that. You just see the guy, what he's dealing with and what is becoming. I think this is going to be a fair assessment calling this like a, what is it called? A psychological thriller. Yes. I if think we're that's gonna, what we're going to get here. Because we're gonna dive into this mind, this guy's the main attack, uh, protagonist's like mind, and just mm-hmm. like how he perceives the world around him, pretty much. Exactly. And then the consequences of him being actually Moon Knight afterwards. You get me? Yes. Which comes the thrill part of that. So, yeah, we'll see, dude. Um, and like we said, it is an original series, and as of oh. right now, it is planning to release on March 30th on, I believe, through Disney Plus only. Um, so if you're keeping up with the whole Marvel verse and what is happening, I mean, it's slowly happening, but it's it's looking really good so far. Oh, seriously. Yo, what we've been getting recently, it's looking really good for for Marvel and Disney. Well, I mean, at the same time, think about it like this. What other movie comes on March as well with this alongside with this? Uh, I don't know. What does come on? The Doctor Strange movie. Huh? The Doctor Strange movie. Oh, that's right. Doctor Strange. <laughs> so oh, that's why I'm like, this is perfect. Dude. Oh, yes. Who, yeah. who knows? We might get a teaser of this dude inside the movie or vice versa. We might mm-hmm. get a teaser of Doctor Strange within his series. Probably, oh. I don't know. That's don't really know. cool. Open they're also question. they're also been like I know Marvel has always been very meticulous on how they plan stuff out. Um, unlike DC, unfortunately. But they yeah, like now thinking about it, like they always team up one of the series with an upcoming film. They almost try to balance it out. Yeah. yeah, like either put them like right on top of each other or as one is ending, the film is coming out. So that is the next hype train that is going around. Yep. Oh, that's very, very interesting. Um, I'm kind of, I want to stay on Disney for a little bit. Have yeah, you go. watched Encanto? 
Dude, no. I haven't <laughs> had a chance, bro. I really haven't had a chance. Bro. Okay. I'm hoping maybe this week if we're not doing anything for sure. Okay. So I need to, I need to then, then I'll hold off on the whole Encanto talk because I will rant on. I'm not kidding. I just watched it for the eighth time yesterday. And I am not tired of the film. Bro, you got to watch the <laughs> Spider-Man movie. That's the I know. That's part. what I need to go watch. <laughs> I think that's too. a little bit more important. Yeah, so at this point, well, not really. You'd be surprised how, how good Encanto is. Mm, okay. I will say one thing. Have you, do you know, you've seen some of the characters, obviously, Yeah, I have, right? yeah. Yeah, I've seen some. So, seen the um, yes. So, um, obviously, the main character is Maribel, the curly hair, the glasses. She is our main protagonist throughout the film. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has two older sisters, Luisa and Isabella. Isabella is the older, older sister, the one who controls the flowers. She's the perfect one in the family. If you've right. seen the trailers and stuff. Yep. And then Luisa is the stronger, taller the big girl. Yep. Exactly. Um, the memes around her. It's funny. So as fuck. <laughs> but, he, but here's the thing, though. Like, yes, Luisa is so funny. Like you like her entire song that she has in the film like kind of hits personally with me. I I believe you might feel the same way once you watch it. I'm not kidding. I cried the first time I watched it and I keep getting teary eyed and all the same moments. <laughs> I, I, I really do. Like, it, in the, it really game. does. Why am I crying again, bro? <laughs> exactly. Um, but For me, the that game with Tony Stark's though. The reason I <laughs> stupid. The reason I brought Isabella and Luisa up is because <laughs> in the Disney world, mm-hmm. um, Isabella is what pretty much portrays as every other Disney princess that we've had, right? Very slim, very beautiful, straight black hair. Reminds you kind of a like Ariel or a bit of a Jasmine. Also, oh, it's like a stereotypical vibes. princess type of thing. Exactly. And they like to change. They try to change the thing again. No. So no? here's no. So here's oh, okay. the thing. Okay. <laughs> they Disney and all of its um, like toy making company that it has yep. has made so much Isabella merch. Thinking, oh, this is what the princess is. Um, this is what all the little girls or the little kids or whoever is going to buy. But apparently, because of the film being so big and all that stuff, a lot of little kids have actually been falling in love with Luisa, the super tall, no. strong one. Yeah. So now they're behind on merch because this is what the kids want. Kids want Luisa and they're lo- they've they lost money from making all this merch for Isabella. I was good. I was going to make an inappropriate joke, but I don't know if I would have slotted it. Oh, God. <laughs> like Say it and I'm cutting thighs out. Thighs crushed. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let's <Leche. laughs> Hey, let's be real, though. We all want a little bit crushing here and there. A little bit. <laughs> Just Who enough says to, like, thighs kill, right? <laughs> have you ever heard of that? No, oh my God. come on. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know how to go from that. <laughs> Stupid. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to bring that up because I've I, I found that very interesting. But at the same time, too, it's like what we see as normal nowadays has definitely changed from over the past decade alone. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So so seeing that Isabella, I'm uh, sorry, that Luisa is becoming more popular than what Isabella is, let alone more popular than I believe Maribel, the main character, is like very heartwarming and definitely showing we're moving in the right direction of breaking these stereotypical stereotypes or yeah, whatever I mean, you want to call it. literally shows you the facts like, hey, this is what girls want. I mean, yeah. Straight up. I mean, that's like, that's really, why I'm, that's why Moana was so popular, because it was yes, I mean, it was different. It's like, yes, besides her being like dark skinned and not your stereotypical princess, she was a little thicker. You get me <laughs> on so that, that sense. Yeah. yeah not like so, I was going to say not in a muscular thick, though. She was just mm-hmm. like, you know, like just thicker. Just yeah. 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 You could see girthier. she wasn't the very. <laughs> Thin, two, you know, two inch waist that we've seen Bullshit, with like yeah. Jasmine and Ariel and all that stuff. Yeah. And then this one, this like this character you were saying is literally just built like a fucking brick, you know? Yeah. Like, 
So they're yeah. like, oh shit, like girls definitely see that and perceive that as like, oh shit, like that must be really cool, you know, type of yeah. thing. But she's just so the mindset is just crazy. Yeah, and it's just so caring and heartwarming <clears throat> how she is in the family. You got me. So and I think that's what they drive through, like, oh, maybe if I'm that strong, I can protect, you know, like my family. Mm-hmm. Shit like that. Shit like exactly. that. That type of mindset. It's just that's what I'm saying. It's just this different, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, just just wanted to throw that in there. Maybe that yeah, might we'll talk about it more, more when I actually watch the movie for sure. I think that might be a whole episode of just like the first half hour of the next episode, if anything. Yeah, we'll reiterate for sure. Like we'll backtrack to that when I actually watch the movie and know the characters a little bit more. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I, I definitely have high hopes for the film on like being like you enjoying it. Um, I mean, I love Disney movies, dude. I mean, they're good. They're always good. They don't, they don't really come, you know, come off as like, oh, they're really bad. Yeah. They're like, they're either not good, but they're still good. You get me? Yeah. And then, but, or they're, they're fucking fantastic. You get me? So exactly. Like, there's no, they're not, there's, there's no, no bad Disney movie. You exactly. get me? Well, unless, ah, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> actually, let me, let me backtrack on that. <laughs> let me back. Okay. Well, okay. If you <laughs> if you just watch the film for what it is, yes, it is good. If we really deep dive into a lot of it, it's, um, it's like another Disney movie. It's like okay. it's a whole other thing because there was right. that whole controversy too with um, God, what was it? Uh, Princess and the Frog. Yeah, my stuff How, like that. Like, mm. like, okay, yeah, it's a Disney, it's a Disney princess movie. Like, we get it. Oh, the the confrontation there was like, oh, we finally get a black character, our black it was very character, typical, and she's eighty percent of the movie. She's just a frog. Yeah, it's like That's why? Yeah, that. yeah. That's the whole gripe of that. Which I kind of agree on that a little bit. Which is like, oh, disappointing. But at exactly. the same time, I'm like, the point of the movie is they're frogs. You got me? Like, that's the twist of the story. Which I get, but not okay. After following <clears throat> that, why not make another Disney it's film with it's another it's black it's protagonist and actually have her be human the entire I like, film? I like how they're going the Hispanic route right now, but they definitely oh, well. got to give us a black, a black princess. You get me? Yeah. Is other than. Tiana. Tiana, I think I don't think I can think of any other no, one as no. of like the top of my head. That's what I'm saying. Like, because you know, we have a we have plenty of white. Ones. Yeah, because we have <laughs> yeah, we have, but I mean, really thinking about it, like the only colored Pocahontas, Jasmine, Mulan being like the main driving the forces main of the classics. Yeah, exactly. The classics, yeah. That was the followed newcomers. by Tiana. And I think. Tiana was the last one besides Tiana, right now Moana. with like Moana. That's what I'm saying. Um, like newcomers, like these are the new guys. Like exactly. Girls that say guys. Yeah. And that's also <laughs> the thing too. It's like, they're technically not princesses in their films, but they fall under the role of princesses in the whole Disney umbrella type of thing. I think we should have an episode dedicated to that, to talk yeah. about like our thoughts and process, like what makes like, you know, Disney princess and shit and like why. Yeah. Why and why yeah. not? Type I of feel, shit. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's one to bring your sister into too. If she, yeah, has she has a lot of thoughts on that shit for sure. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> especially because they gave her a new laptop. There's no excuse for. Oh, her. I know that she could do <laughs> Zoom no calls. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no excuse for her not yeah. to join the calls anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but speaking of like controversial controversy within companies and stuff, uh, it's been a while since we last spoke, uh, spoke about Activision Blizzard, um, with the whole lawsuit that they were going, uh, through with sexual harassment cases, uh, against female employees, um, if things from HR to the head CEOs of the company and stuff. Yeah. Um, Bobby Deirdre. Yes. <laughs> no, Bo- no, Bobby Kodak. Sorry. sorry. Some, yeah. Um, but very recently, we got news that Microsoft, Xbox Microsoft, bought out Activision Blizzard for, let's say you have the number. <laughs> yeah, fucking $68.1 billion. The fucking big ones, bro. 
68 billion dollars billion dollars american moolah nuts bro that has that's more gdp from fucking the bottom half of the fucking 50 poorest countries bro in yes. perspective for people how much money that actually is dude mm-hmm. so it is fucking nuts how much money they fucking bought this publisher for dude yes it's fucking insane um no lie yo fucking microsoft has some has a fucking big ass wallet bro <laughs> It, it really does. It really does. And seeing them put it into good use um, definitely like helps you get me in a way, um, especially with the gaming community right now, because that was one of the first things that they implemented um, when they bought out Activision Blizzard. They practically had an entire company wide meeting going over the rules, regulations, sexual harassment, um, uh, clauses and all that stuff, like really enforcing, like, this is not the environment we're going to tolerate. You guys now work for us. We will definitely enforce this. Any sort of, uh, problems will be taken up immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, it, so much, it- uh-huh. No, no, no. Oh, so I'm much so that during the merger, they with active during the merger with Activision Blizzard, at the same time, they just dropped names and dropped names and dropped names just to prove that they are being very serious about not just this merger, but of like the change the rework, the research, the rework the and the research. Exactly. And like, like literally we're changing your guys' culture forever. Like exactly. Like it, it, like oh. getting like gaming community technically still has a bad rap if you think about it, like for the it's full public it's eye. literally a, a multi-billion dollar industry, which is insane. Exactly. Um, but even so, like doing that, like doing this type of things behind closed doors is not helping our community either. Just gives us the bad rap. Exactly. Oh, this is why you don't game because you know it causes this type of mindsets and bullshit like that. The whole GTA Five bullshit. You got mm-hmm. I mean GTA shit. Like, oh, you're gonna replicate what you see in video games type of thing. Like, no, I mean, I always hate that argument. Yeah, I, the, yeah, that's which is not true. Like, <laughs> if your kids are somehow replicating these type of things you in sit down the world, then that is you as a parent not doing not your your job, easy. being yeah. like. This is a game. This is real life. Yeah, literally. Come on. Yeah. Um, but to add to that, I think since since activist, this is more of the technical side, like the actual business side. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I read up on it because it's a I mean it's a fucking huge accusation, and we were talking about it at work as well. Mm-hmm. So um it's gonna be a long process, first and foremost, because one Activision Blizzard was a public company, yes. right? It's a public company buying and acquiring a big ass another public company. So they got it through, you know, go through legal, through all this bullshit. So we technically won't see any technical technical changes on Activision's and Blizzard's side, like their culture and stuff like that and mm-hmm. their games and stuff. We won't see any changes until maybe the beginning of 2023, sadly. But that's that's also that's also where it goes into if you read a little bit more into like the Microsoft side of things, it's like Mm -hmm. they understand that with this merger um, that it is going to take some time before we see any real changes in Activision Blizzard. Yeah. Um, But they are trying to find. I don't want to say loopholes, but like finding those little cracks where they can shove their way through. Oh, no, trust me. Yeah, they're to trying. make this process faster because yeah. they now with the merger, they've um, see how far behind they have really fallen. Like, yep. for example, <laughs> which it, that's perfect leading into this next story where they um, with the merger, they practically dropped uh, Bobby Kotick um, because he was costing them and the team months of development for Overwatch 2 for 
a certain project that they can't speak out on because of all the the lawsuit that is going on currently. And I think that's specifically they dropped them for that game because as a CEO, they can't legally drop them as of now. Yeah. Uh, Sadly to say they can't fucking drop them. And they've, uh, I mean, people have petitioned for him to step down as CEO. Like, bro, you're literally stealing company money at this point. Exactly. Um, So... Obviously, the next two games that everybody, well, most people were excited about was for Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4, which kept getting delayed and delayed or just announcement, but no real set dates. Um, And it was because apparently Bobby Kotick was having the team work on another project, which they can't announce because that project is now part of the lawsuit that they're trying to um, get him fired for because he was trying to have them like, oh, we need you to do like extra time. Like I need you to put time on this project and this project to drop Overwatch. Like Mm. exactly. And the team was like, I'm not putting in extra time like that for a project that not even going out. Hasn't even been announced. That might even just drop when I could focus more time on this. And then that's yeah. when a lot of the threats and harassment from Bobby was coming into the team as well. Yeah. Um, so much so that even Microsoft is now like he they also said with pro- upcoming projects, if the team, if they start seeing that certain people or certain teams are disobedient and not focusing on these projects that they are asking them to do because they know that is what's going to push them forward. That goes on also into the rules and regulations of like, okay, now you're not even following what we need you to do. Mm -hmm. And also leads to fires and dropping names and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just glad, dude. I mean, bro, I know. Let's let's just get this out the way. I know a lot of PlayStation people are probably gonna be mad because the whole idea of um, Microsoft buying this huge publisher, you know, the owner of like all these different franchises and all that stuff, coming to Xbox, they're scared of the exclusivity exact process of that for sure. Which kind of there's no way they're gonna make like Xbox clu- like exclusive. Like not a sorry, not Xbox. Uh, not Call from of Duty these exclusively. Games. Huh? Yeah, no, not not from the Activision Blizzard side. You get me? Yeah. Like message, right now, like the sorry to keep, uh, but like Halo might still be like an Xbox. Exclusive no, but that's always been Halo. That's uh, I mean, that's always been Xbox. Yeah. So that's that's a company that they own. Literally, that's four uh, four three three four three industry, mm-hmm. which is an Xbox actual like publisher. But I'm talking about since they own like. Um, you know, like Treyarch now, Raven, uh, what is it called? Raven and Sledgehammer, which is the guys that create um, like the Call of Duty franchise. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That would be a missed opportunity of fucking banking money if they mm-hmm. make games like that exclusive. Yeah. They could have exclusive like game modes and shit like that. Like come to Xbox first yeah. for a year and then give it to PlayStation afterwards. Yeah. Like that's what PlayStation pretty much did for uh, Cold War. For zombies, they had like a whole map, a whole game mode specifically for them for an entire fucking year. And then they got put into the Xbox and the rest of like PC as well and everything like that. So, yeah, which I don't I don't I don't think that's like really what Microsoft plans. I mean, I from I know, they they plan that. Trust me. Well, I mean, obviously, like exclusive. like you said, probably the whole PlayStation exclusive stuff and then moving uh like having it for Xbox and then trying to get the PlayStation side to come onto it. You got me. Mm-hmm. Um, but from what, again, again, this is just personal views from how I see it, from what I've been reading. It's just really like they, they just want to help Activision Blizzard move forward. Because obviously, yes, it's going to be more money for them in their pocket if you think about it, like in the long run. Yeah. But like from ever since the merger, it's always been helping them move forward, helping them push these games out. Um, so much so even that they're also uh, the Xbox head 
uh, Phil Spencer um, is talking with developer, developers of reviving older Activision Blizzard franchises such as King's Quest, Guitar Hero, and an old, um, it's it's a, a first-person spellcasting type of game uh, called Hexen, um, which you could see some <clears throat> like gameplay on YouTube. If you search yeah. it up, it's H-E-X-E-N. Um, it, it looks almost like a slower-paced Doom type of game. Um, and obviously bringing that up to date, like that, that's the route they might even take it to. <laughs> they might take yeah, Hexen into the Doom type of world with spell casting type of stuff. You got well, me? Just the opportunity that I, that freaking Microsoft has to bring all these I, different IPs back. Mm-hmm. Can guitar you imagine playing back, Guitar though? Hero again? Dude, I know that would be fucking dope. It would be uh, in VR at this point. <laughs> oh, a hundred percent. It would be in VR. <laughs> <laughs> for sure so but dude now think about it like this dude this is a funny concept to think about right freaking spyro and crash used mm-hmm. to be on playstation they used to be mascots for playstation bro. Mm-hmm. and now they're owned by xbox what kind of fucking crazy world do we live in that it just flipped the script like that bro so much so that they went through the whole rebranding the whole remake of all their games and ha- they each had like their trilogies come out, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, talk about flipping the script. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like, damn, bro. I, you know, Microsoft is here to fucking create like its own fucking universe at this at point. This point yeah. <laughs> bro, they're literally becoming the Disney of fucking gaming industry. <laughs> yes. Which I um, love Spyro. I love Spyro so much. I remember just charging into anything and everything. Yeah. <laughs> just, dude, there's so much potential with all these new things. Oh, man. It's just like, it's baffling my mind, dude. Yeah. And I, I know why they did this, bro. This is a huge fucking just flex, bro. On those people that say like, oh, Xbox doesn't even have exclusive exclusive games when like new consoles launching and shit yeah this is literally to shut to shut them up yeah pretty much like, yo we got nothing but exclusives <laughs> now <laughs> literally now they're like we can't make exclusives we're gonna buy the exclusives <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> how literally yeah. that's their attitude right now yeah they literally put in that big ass energy out there and like, oh yeah because we can't make it we're buying it <laughs> yo i'm like oh shit dude bro it's just oh dude it is insane the amount of money, I mean, come on. There's no way they spend that much money and not make things exclusively for just Xbox. You get me? There's yeah. no fucking way, dude. That's It would be such a dumb fucking thing for them to still give out PlayStation exclusives even though they're owned by Xbox. You get me? Like, it would be such a dumb, it's like, it's like fucking market suicide at that point if you're doing stupid shit like that. But you see, so this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting into. It's like they're gonna make the game that is mm-hmm. for Xbox, PlayStation, and possibly PC. No, for sure, they're gonna make games like that still. Exactly, but then there's like there's gonna be certain games where it's gonna be like on Xbox for like a year. No, first. no. Well, like yes, it, a year first, gonna- or it's like once the game is released completely, everyone has the same storylines. Except for Xbox, where Xbox now has this one extra mission that they could play, or they yeah. have this one extra weapon that they could play. Same yeah. thing, how there was, I believe it was Destiny for PlayStation, yes, where they had the that one or two yeah, like extra Hawk missions Moon. or the one, two extra weapons that yeah. they were only able to use, yep. and it never came to Xbox. <laughs> I've been liking the memes, dude, right now that. Bungie right now is just like scared in their boots because they're gonna get bought off by Microsoft. <laughs> they're next. <laughs> like, yo, all right. If we're doing this, me. if we're doing this, buy 2K and Ooh, bring out and remake oh, play, my whole I think PlayStation thing. owns them. I oh, is it? Oh. I think so. Or whatever makes Dead Space. Is that no, also Visceral. PlayStation? <laughs> no, I forgot who makes fucking Dead Space. Fuck. It used to be Visceral Games, which is owned by Activision. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, oh my God, we it's a faster process to get that space out. Who owns? Uh, I know 2K owns fucking. Uh, what is it called? Bioshock. Uh, Bioshock. 
Yes. I uh, think our- EA oh, is Dev Space. Okay. Own oh, we own a EA. Yeah. I think. No, no, no. We're partners with EA, correction. We I say we. Microsoft is partners with EA, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. They're not owned, they're partners. Yes. You get me? So yeah. I mean, By, you know what I mean yeah. I mean the way the way a lot of these gaming Bro, industry just, companies just work where it's like partnered with developers with and associated with like the amount of like the amount of po- exactly what do you mean and then it's always like so wait who's in charge of this game yeah, I need that's to know. The <laughs> like whose game is this really <laughs> they just tell us who owns it and then we'll give them credit <laughs> exactly or I'll tweet at them to remake this game quicker <laughs> Like we need this now. We need a franchise to save us. <laughs> exactly. From the all this bullshit that's happening. And I mean, with the route that we've been going recently, too, of like old game remakes, like, like I said, Spyro, remakes. full remix of like Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, like you mentioned, the whole uh Halo games getting completely remade and brought up to date with what they were doing, like Fucking Mass Effect needs that bullshit. Mass, oh, Mass Effect. Effect 4. Like, literally from last week's episode, Mass Effect 4, bro, that shit needs, like, a rework from the fucking ground up, if possible, I th- to make it survive. I, I say, I think Doom was the one that started it all when they remade Doom, oh, and yeah, then people bro. started following Doom. They saw how fucking successful that was. Dude. Yeah. Oh, my God, bro. But, I mean, Doom is a whole... Doom is a whole franchise on its own. <laughs> you, you need yeah, to spend sure. time and energy on that game. Actually, Bethesda actually fucking killed it with that shit. You know, exactly. They they, they actually made that fucking game good again. Yeah, that franchise was fucking dead out the waters before that. Oh, it has been a, it hasn't been technically a franchise since fucking Doom Three, which mm-hmm. came out like in nineteen eighty something. Mm-hmm. You get me? Yeah, like eight, 1980 something. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Not 80s. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> no, it was 80s. It was 80s. It was 80s. Pretty sure. But yeah. yeah, and then like keeping on with like the whole Mortal Kombat thing. That was always something he, uh, like Wait. being kept up to date. Mortal Kombat is owned by Netherlands yes. Studios. Yes. And who owns Netherlands Studios? Uh-huh. That's a question we're gonna figure out right now, real quick. Studio. I think they're their own thing. I'm pretty sure, or they might be owned by the like, Warner Bros. Things. Oh yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. Warner Bros. Oh fuck me. Okay, so they're they're untouchable at that point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to. Fuck yeah, no. And so the DC franchise as well. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Which is why we're getting that. What is it? Uh, that cross. Oh, that cross. Like, the, uh, the, platform ver- multi fighting verse game. Yeah. Multiverse. Met- multi. No, might have. Um, I forgot what it's called. Something verse. Though. Hold on. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> Not multiverse. Something metaverse. I guess something no, like I think it was multi. Multiverse? Maybe. Multiverses. Yeah, multi versus. There you go. Yeah, I said okay. that. <laughs> you fought me. Yeah, that's my bad. Yeah, yeah. I was, you said multiverse. I'm like, I don't think that's right. Oh. Multi versus. Multi versus. Yes. But I mean, a fairly short episode. Unless you have something you want to add. Um. <clears throat> any other news? Mm. Do you want to spend a few minutes looking up? Um. I mean. This news was fucking huge on its own, and I think that's a good stopping point, in my opinion. Right? Because that that's a really good like, like nothing's gonna top what we're gonna talk about there. Uh-huh. <laughs> so no, yeah, that's I mean, there, there might be other like little news and tidbits that we probably missed for this week, and uh, or just like didn't catch our attention, or we like I said, we probably most. Likely we missed it. Um, yeah, most likely we missed it because it's yeah, it's been a while to get back into the kind of things of exactly yeah, on a weekly sure, basis. So. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, Pokemon Legend of Arceus is coming out soon. That's something to look forward to as well. Um. Didn't recently God of War go uh, get onto PC? 
Yes, I believe. It gorgeous, I heard. It looks yeah. Phenomenal. I know. I know. Eddie VR is playing it. It's not a VR game, but he is playing it on his channel. Um, and he has a moment at the beginning of the video of again, just like going back a little bit on how important video games can actually be. Really, um, not just for the whole thing of like. Well, there was. I take. Uh, association with this it's um like the distraction of the real world in a way when you're just sad depressed you're being bullied this is a way of escaping of escaping yeah exactly and like doing things in these other worlds what you can't do in real life in other words beating someone's face in for example (laughs) um but yeah he does have that type of moment at the beginning of his video uh which again, like not just that, like some games are helpful with memory retention. Um, I played a lot of like math games on like the CD computers Mm -hmm. back then. Hence why I love numbers and I love math so much. (laughs) Um, Cause I'm, I remember playing so many of those games. I think I still might have them hidden somewhere. Remember that? What is it called? The car putt putt thing? Oh, that shit. Oh, putt putt. Yeah, putt putt yeah. sees the zoo. Putt putt travels through time. I remember that. Those so are much. my two. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking phenomenal. Yo, oh, if they remake <laughs> putt putt, bro. I don't know how you'll do that, but re- imagine remaking putt putt. <laughs> I know, right? Like, we need a remake of this for the new generation for school. <laughs> Who makes putt Make putt? An AI. Who created putt up? Who, who created putt putt? What? Oh, but damn, I can't put putt putt when it's the actual like mini golf thing. Yeah. Hold on, game. Um, Microsoft Windows, Macintosh. What? Oh, hu- uh, humongous entertainment! Oh, Papa joins the circus. I forgot that one. That's the one I remember. There's joins the circus, enters the race, travels through time. Pep's balloon, Orama. That's on Steam. Really? It's on <laughs> yeah. Steam, bro. Oh dude, shit. Some of them, dude. some of them, not all. Oh, dude. That's yeah, because these awesome. are yeah, these are like they're PC games. Yeah, they're mid 90s to early 2000 games. Oh, it's only like seven of them. Why did I think there were so much more? Are you checking Steam right now? <laughs> See what you well, can I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo. Oh, he goes to the moon. I forgot he goes to the moon. I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one. That the circus one, one I do remember. The circus that one, one I only played partially. The mini golf friends. one, dude. Yeah. I don't remember the mini golf one. Oh, God. Nostalgia. All right. No more nostalgia. No more nostalgia. Well, <laughs> that, that reads our age on, too much. Unless, unless it's Bioshock or Dead Space, no more nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, because that's going to take all my nostalgia, bro. Yes. Out the fucking oh, window, God. bro. That shit. Dude, if I get any more news, I'm gonna fucking lose my fucking. I think at this point, if we if we get any more Bioshock news or Dead Space news, we It'll have be a to, trailer. We have to <laughs> we have to instantly make solo episodes and just upload them ourselves. Probably, yeah. Like little <laughs> tidbits. Like, yo, big announcements, you know. Like, hey, it's let you yo, quick announcement. Yo, they dropped the trailer right now. That's it. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. <laughs> This is me reacting to the trailer by myself right now, right here. <laughs> right here, right now, at this moment, right now. <laughs> you just keep going, be like, dude, chill out. You just got to pull more time to it. <laughs> Solo, alone, in my room, right here. By myself. <laughs> by myself. <laughs> just me, myself, and I. <laughs> oh, geez, oh, oh, my God, bro. <laughs> just go all out like that. Exactly. <laughs> You just make a what is supposed to be a 15 second reaction a whole minute. <laughs> well, not not even. It's like 45 seconds of you bringing it up and then the 15 seconds of the actual reaction. Yeah. And then probably all it another- is, is literally just Isaac's face. Be like, oh, <laughs> you got me something simple. And then just saying coming back. 
Like, oh. And then another 45 seconds of you reacting to seeing Isaac's face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it ends up being like a full after. two minute video, if anything. <laughs> That's oh, what God. these YouTubers be doing. <laughs> At this point, yeah. They drag it out so much before they actually talk about the drama that they're in. And then we draw uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Boom. <laughs> 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 Out of the extra fucking minute right there, dude. Like, oh, um, shit. <laughs> but Ray Shadow Legends, if y'all want to sponsor, we open. <laughs> I know Ledger plays. Ledger plays oh, Ray Shadow. Play. I do play. It's I used to, but I'll get back into it. I have no problem. It's, it's a lot to get into it, though. It me? is. It's a lot of uh, it's an RPG, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, God. But that's it for this week's episode. Ledger, where can people find you? You can find me at Leche Minuesa on Instagram, or you guys can follow me on Twitch at uh, <laughs> TechnoFreak95. And then you guys can follow me at One Alpha Penguin, also on Instagram, and also twitch.tv forward slash One Alpha Penguin. You guys can follow the podcast on Instagram at take a sip underscore pod and uh, go subscribe to our YouTube channel where we also have these episodes up. If you if it makes it easier to hear it through there at youtube.com slash take a sip. Um, as always, the logos that we see here are the same thing throughout all the social medias, all the websites and all the things. Uh, we are also on Spotify if that helps anybody to listen. Also, like I believe um, Google Podcasts and any other like Amazon a podcast really listening type of thing. So I believe we're on a wide range of platforms. Um, but yeah, that is it from us. Thank you as always. A little bit of a shorter episode than what we're used to. But like we said, we're getting back into the grind of things over here. Um, but as always, drink some water, stay safe, and we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.